Hey guys, okay, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 28. And I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm trying to bid on another item right now. And I want to see if I can get it. Uh, I'm not going to show you what it is until afterwards, because I don't want to go backwards. Um, but right now, the item's at $290. Um, that was the last time anyone bid on it, which was, like, I guess four days ago, because you can check to see. And... I'm willing to go three fifteen. I think shipping is twenty dollars, so it's gonna be three thirty-five when all is said and done. So let's see if we can win this puppy right now. Oh no. Okay, we didn't win it. <laughs> I guess whoever had it, um yeah, someone totally got it for 336. So it would have been like 356. So this is the bag. Didn't win it, but that's okay. I actually have my eye on another bag as well. <laughs> but this was so cute. It's shearling. It was a really good deal, but it's okay. Now it's time to go to sleep because I was waiting up to see if I could win this bag. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 28 of Vlogmas. And we are here. We brought all the kids to this cafe called Platform 909. It's supposed to be Harry Potter themed. So the kids love Harry Potter. We want to take them inside and check it out. So here we are. Hello. What do you guys want? There's my drink, yeah. Eliza's gonna try my drink. Try it, Eliza. <laughs> I got taro. Yummy? It doesn't look like it's his favorite. Eliza, do you like your drink? <laughs> He's like having the time of his life. Okay, guys. I just finished filming haul videos, just got a bunch of stuff down there. But I wanted to show you guys what mom is making. And she is making burgers. And look at these tomatoes. From They're the from our garden. <laughs> this, the lettuce is not from the garden. <laughs> and she also made this, what kind of soup is this mom? Minestrone. Minestrone soup. This is from the beef that she made for Christmas and then she cut up the extra beef and made it into soup. You guys look at how delicious this soup is. Oh my god. I can't wait to eat it. Alright you guys. My burger, chips, and soup. Yum. And that Pepsi. Alright you guys, so I'm back. I just had dinner and it was delicious. But now I wanted to do a quick little like handbag rehab segment with you guys. I wanted to do it on this super cute Philip Lim pouch. Now this pouch is literally so nice. Let me try to get it to focus. Um, now the there is a little thing with like the corners. The corners are they're kind of dry and I wanted to show you guys how I would um, try and repair these corners using just leather conditioner. My trusty Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion. Again, if you guys are interested in purchasing this, purchasing that item, I have it um, down below in the description box where I get it. I always get it from Amazon straight from, I believe it's straight from the vendor from Cadillac. And their leather lotion is amazing and really works like wonders on bags. Now, um, this kind of bag, like, it's very, or this kind of leather, it's very, um... I wouldn't say it's porous, but it does, like, the corners do, like, uh, that get, ex like, uh, extensive, um, wear or, like, get lots of friction. It They always dry out, like, quickly, I noticed, on um, a lot of these type of, like, leather pieces like this, Philip Lim. So, um, the way to address it is, you, you can see these corners. Sometimes this is actual color loss, and sometimes this is just dryness just like your skin it gets ashy you get like a white layer on your skin that's what happens to uh leathers as well so let's see if this is just that um i'm hoping that it is like usually it is especially because the rest of the bag is in such great condition i think it might just be dry so um let's try it out 
I'm just gonna get some of the leather lotion right here. I'm actually just gonna dab it on. Come on. Right there. And then I'm just going to massage it in with my finger. I wish my lighting was better. I'm so sorry, you guys. I definitely need to get some sort of, like, extra lighting in my room. But, it's going to rub the rest throughout. Um, you know what? It looks like it did the trick right there. You see that? So, and right now, it's a little bit darker than it normally would be. I'm hoping that it'll lighten up to the regular color once it, light, like, once it um, dries up a little bit. But I, I think... That looks pretty darn good. And that's what it looked like before right there. And that's what it looks like now. Let me fold it over so you guys can see the difference. And it's not focusing. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to focus with one hand. But um, let's try this other side right here. And when I'm, when I'm adding, trying to add moisture to something, I always just add directly onto the leather. And then if I'm, like, trying to clean and condition at the same time, I'll, I'll put it onto a microfiber cloth like this. And then just wipe it down. And that conditions and cleans, but a lot of the conditioner does end up in the cloth. And then not all of it is going into the leather. So when I do this, it's definitely adding as much moisture as possible to the leather and making sure that it really soaks in. And sometimes you actually have to do this a couple times. You have to like keep adding the lotion because it actually is really, really dry and it takes a couple times to get all of that moisture back into the leather. This side was really, really dry. This side looks pretty dry as well, so. And then I'll just let that sit. And then hopefully, all of it will just be good to go. And yeah, those were really like the only dry spots in this whole bag. I think I got lotion, leather lotion all over this table. <laughs> but yeah, so. There you go. I'll show you guys how it looks in like maybe 20-30 minutes once it should be fully saturated. And then we'll know for certain whether or not this was actually the problem and or whether or not um, we're going to have to take any other measures other than um, doing just like the leather lotion. Alright you guys, so I wanted to show you guys the bag. So, this from this side, you can see that the the color was actually removed. And what you saw was actually like kind of like the underside of the leather. And that's why it's kind of like a grayish type of brownish, a black color. And that's because now it's like hydrated and not so dry. And I think that's actually a better look than when it was um, like that whitish kind of look. And now it's not as apparent that it's there. But, um, I'll probably try to do something there in the future if it gets any worse. And then here, it's also kind of like the same thing. Just not as bad. And, yeah, you know what? It looks like every little corner, or each of the four corners, does have color removed. Which, I don't, you know, honestly, it's not the worst. When it's like this, you can't really see it. And now that I've added conditioner, it is a lot darker than it was before. And it's not like this bright, ashy white color. So I'm totally fine with it. And I'll probably just keep it just like this. I mean, it's... Yeah, I'm happy with it. So that is today's little handbag rehab. And I also went ahead and conditioned the rest of the bag. And it looks, honestly, it looks so fantastic, you guys. It looks like a million bucks. And I have a ton of other handbag rehabs very soon coming, are coming up very soon for you guys. So I'm very excited about that as well. But I think I'm going to end the video right here. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I'm so sorry today's video was a little bit boring. I had a lot of stuff to do this morning. I didn't even start vlogging until like half the day was already over. And we were at the, what's it called? At, um... 
the cafe. The cafe was actually really good. Um, it wasn't as Harry Potter themed as we thought it was going to be. And they, they honestly, like, they ran out of a lot of the, um, what are they called? The, like, the baked goods and stuff. Because I know they have, they're supposed to have, like, a lot, like, a pretty good selection. But, like, there's barely anything left. But the drinks were really good. And there were Harry Potter accents throughout. But it's definitely not, like, too Harry Potter-esque. But it looks like... A kind of like a cafe that you would see on platform nine and three quarters if you were in King Station going to Hogwarts or wherever else <laughs> over there. But um, yeah, so thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I promise I'm gonna have some more fun, like funner, more fun stuff to do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start taking down the Christmas decor. I'm not a hundred percent certain. And I'm gonna try and take you guys maybe to um, the Goodwill by my house tomorrow since I do have to hit up the post office. And yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys immensely and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye!